Turning now to the group that instigated the Covington incident, the black Hebrew Israelites. Here they are in Washington, D.C., yelling at the high school students. The black Hebrew Israelites are described as a black nationalist hate group with militant overtones. They believe blacks are the true descendants of the biblical Israelites, and many of their sects are anti-white. Many here on the East Coast are pretty familiar with the group who dress up in robes and preach their teachings on street corners. I happened to catch up with them in Philly about two years ago. President Trump, how are you feeling about it? How do I feel about President Trump? I think that white people put, in off, put Trump in office, and that was the man that they wanted him to, to rule over their people. Right. But I think black people, Hispanics and Native Americans, have a king that they need to obey. Right. And this is what my power said. Read Acts 5 and 29. Acts chapter 5 and 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. Is there a problem right now with the black Israelites? Did, are they angry at something specific? What's the beef? Well, from my perspective, we've been in captivity for 400 years. We've been denied, denied our heritage, our land, uh, what rightfully belongs to us as a people. We've been here for 400 years. We've had uh, miseducation in regards to what belongs to us nationally or ethnically. Uh, as servants to this, this country. So what belongs to you specifically? It all starts with the King James Version Bible. That's where we get the concepts of all these things that are written on the other books. Huh. You know what's your nationality? Let me ask you that. What's your father? Black. Okay. So according to the Bible, there's no such thing as African. Alright? We all descend from our father's seed. Right? So we do an example there. If I take an apple seed and I plant it in a banana soil, what kind of tree is it? Apple. If I take an apple seed and I plant it in an uh, orange soil, what kind of tree is it? Apple, right? It's the seed. The seed of man comes from the sperm, right? So we plant our seed in any woman, the, the same being that comes out is from the father. Soil is what we consider the female in this case. The seed itself is the, the being, it can be male or female. The seed is just the human. Once this tree grew, uh, blooms, that tree then has the ability to give its offspring. So it's like the female tree has given um, seeds to the offspring. And in some cases, seeds are male and the female. I'm not sure if you're familiar with uh, cannabis. For example, they have male plants and they have female seeds. Well, so that's in every country. Yeah. So they have sex. Right. So they have X and Y chromosomes. Yeah. Right. But um, they trace your paternal DNA through your father, right? Your maternal DNA through your mother. But the seed always comes through the sperm of man. Like uh, our, our sperm has millions of swimmers in it, right? They said it could take four men, uh, four to eight men, I forget the number, to populate this entire planet. So four to eight men could get every single woman pregnant on Three this days. planet. Three 30 days. days. <laughs> that's just a gift, because that's, that's a gift from God. Right? Yeah, it is a gift from God. <laughs> that's that, because we God. have the ability to <laughs> yeah. reproduce. Right? Uh, give me numbers 118. Number one. 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 It's going to show how we uh, remember ourselves, how we count our generations. This is the seed of our father. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their father. It's like a pedigree. It's like a dog, right? You have a pit bull, and uh, you, you raise other pit bulls. They go by the, the pedigree of the father, or the, the lineage or the generation of the father. It's not to say that the mother is irrelevant, but you're counted by the seed of your father. All right, so if your father's a so-called black man, 
according to the Bible, you're from the tribe of Judah. You're an Israelite. Black is just the color. Right? Black is the color of your pants. You're not related to your pants. Right? Your nationality, your nation is Israel. Originally, before you came here to America on the slave ships, your family descended from Israel. That makes us Israelites. Right? You know the story of the Moses, right? How he parted the Red Sea? Yeah. Those, like he's saying, the Israelites, yeah. we descend from them. Get that, right? Yeah. You know what the Lord said about the Israelites? His church. Those are his chosen yeah. people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hold, hold on, what does that say? I just, I get that the Bible says this thing, and I just want to take it to me. I want, like, if I were to meet God, I would want God to love everyone no matter what. I don't care. If, I, I would want God to love someone that killed someone yesterday, just because that's the power of God. You know? And Ten. after you see, like, Ten. Ten. Yeah, that's the condition. That's the, that's yeah. the that's thing. The like you can't kill bad about. You can't keep you killing mean. people yeah. and think God's gonna love you. Yeah. Right. But you can't keep hanging time, God knows why you killed that person. Yeah. He, he, you know, sent he knows the, he sent everything the, you've been through in your life to push you to that point to doing what you did. It's just. I feel like he doesn't judge us. I feel like he knows exactly why we're doing things that we're doing. He knows he only judges the one that just gave up on thinking for themselves and following the will. Did you want me to pull out? Did you want me to pull out? So he tells us to judge, and he is going to judge. He's definitely going to bring judgment on this earth, right? So uh, judgment is expected from many people uh, after 400 years, for example. They said the Israelites are going to be cursed for 400 years, and then he's going to start bringing his, his wrath on this planet. Things are about to change. He tells us to judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. So we're, we're to judge. We're to judge each other. But hey, bro, don't cross that street. There's, there's cars coming. It's not necessarily judgment like I'm about to kill you, but I'm trying to save your life. You know, from you taking your own life. That would be judgment if I said, hey, walk out in the street and kill yourself. That's that's like, if, if I, if, if maybe a more extreme example, if I shot somebody in the head, that's judgment. I don't give them a chance. You understand the difference? All right, go ahead. John 7 and 24. Judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Judge righteous judgment. What is righteous judgment? The commandments. So, thou shalt not kill. I can judge and say, don't kill nobody. Thou shalt not steal. I can judge and say, don't steal. Right? That's righteous judgment. Because when I do righteous judgment, things on this earth begin to get to level themselves out. And things to get back to a balance. Right now, there's a lot of death, murder, killing. It's out of evil. Right? But when we start keeping this commandment, it starts to balance itself out. There's love. Right? That's love, actually. You keep God's commandments. Right? This is Deuteronomy 6 and 25. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments for the Lord our God as he has commanded us. So that's righteousness according to the Bible. What's the other one in the New Testament? For the last time. 1 and 6. 1 and 6. Uh, this is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17. I love them that love me. So that's the thing you're saying about love. You want him to love everybody. Christ said he loves them. Don't love him. Watch out. He just told you. He just told you what love was. Which the people's commandments. Proverbs eight seventeen say, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. So the only way that he'll love them is if they're keeping his commandments. Christ would have just said. So what about atheists who keep his commandments? People who choose. That's impossible. To not him. That's oxygen. Yeah. The first. What's the first commandment? I don't know. I don't Exodus know. twenty. We're gonna show you. Because you can't be atheist and keep his commandments. Because you automatically broke the first rule in the Bible. The first book that we were given. It's the book of Exodus, chapter twenty, verse. Chapter one. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So you shall have no other gods before me. So that's Atheists not, don't believe in God at all. They believe in that anything is possible. That's yeah. the true thing. But God just said you should have no other god before him. No one's before him. Yeah, yeah that's, he's number one. So you automatically dismiss him from that equation. If you're an atheist, right? The word atheist means to what? Not believe in God, right? 
to believe that anything is possible. To believe anything is possible. Including every God. God has a God. I don't know the truth of it. I'm not interested in The word God is this team is the study of. So, so what? I'm a scientist. I study science. So atheists study atheism or at the, the removal of God. Deism is God. A would be like taken away. So they, they don't believe in God. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Those are the other commandments that are starting to death. We weren't supposed to make any other graven image. We weren't supposed to worship graven images. Um, those are things that were going against, against God's laws. So what happens when we start worshiping multiple gods? We start taking on these other cultures, right? And eventually when we start taking on these other cultures, we drift away from God, right? Because he already has rules, he has his, his, his standard, and you're deviating from the standard that he's given you, all right? Got any questions? You know your nationality now? Did you learn that? What's your nationality? Israel. 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 Yeah. From the, the tribe of Judah. Yeah. That's right. The word Jew is actually short for Judah. That's right. That would make you the, one of the biblical Jews that's spoken about in the Bible. Did you know that? No. The people in Israel today are not the real Jews. That's right, man. Stole our that. identity. I'm gonna show you that in the Bible. Go ahead. What do you want? Uh, Revelation 2 and the Bible says that. Yeah. All right. It's the book of Revelations, chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them, which say they are Jews and are not. Uh, what? Which say they are Jews and are not. So Christ is saying, I know the blasphemy or the lies of the people who say they are Jews and are not. But what? But are the synagogue of Satan. They're the what? The synagogue of Satan. So the people who call themselves Jews and are not the real Jews, he calls them the synagogue of Satan. That's why I said before, those people over there, yeah, those white folks especially, they're the high church of Satan. The devil. The word Satan, or Hashatan, means um, the adversary. Right, so they're literally the people that we go to. The yin and the yang, the black yes. and the white, yes. the good and the evil. Yes. Yeah, like we spoke about earlier, the duality. The Lord made us, we have to make them too. So the importance is, uh, please ask me, 12, 13, please. The importance of this whole, the whole purpose that we're out here is to show you how to keep God's laws and how to keep you start doing that, you get power. It's not just like power just rule over anybody you want, but it's spiritual power. And on earth, it's going to be an earthly power. Right? This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. This is the conclusion of everything we're talking about. Right? Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. That's the entire duty of us. It's not to say, God, why did you make the trees brown and, green, and the leaves green and you know, it's not to be all into philosophy. It's to fear God and keep His commandments. That's our whole duty. That's the whole purpose of being on this earth. Uh, Deuteronomy 7, 6, I want to show you how special the people is. Number four, he said, He gave us the law, the adoption of the law, the covenants. It all belongs to the Israelites. Right, brother? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So that shows you right there that, that it's not all equal. He chose the people, and he chose them to be above all the other people. That's just how the potter decided to make his play. Yeah. All right? So isn't that the same as... It is. If I'm racist. Yeah, exactly. If, I'm, if I may add, by the way, what, it's, it's kind of obvious and God made no mistake uh, on, you know, there. Like, you, you kind of click what's the dominant race in sports. You know what I mean? You can say God's racist. A lot of, there's a lot of black inventors. I mean, you know what I mean? We're, come on now. Like, there's, 
could literally say that because he made black people better than a lot of other people. Yeah. Like everybody else. Better fighters, better runners. Better That's artists. racism if you want to define racism. Racism, again, break down the word racism, is a preference of a certain race. Yeah. Right? So there's nothing wrong with being racist. There's, there's something wrong with applying racism to my daily life. Like, to say, I'm only going to hire you because you're this race. There's, there's something wrong with that. Yeah. But to say, I prefer to be with a black woman, or I prefer to hire a black person, that's that's your company. Like, Asian people hire Asians. You know, every nation of people, they hire their own people. They can speak to each other. The culture is the same. They eat the same foods. Is that racist? Or is that your racial preference as far as how you look? Right? You can't go to China and say, you know what? I'm going to build a black black school here for only black people. They're going to laugh at you. Right? Because that's their land. That's their culture. That's their people. Exactly. Exactly. Although there are black people there. So they go there to be Chinese. Yeah, yeah. They, they go there, but they're not considered Chinese. They're still considered to be black. So if you can be born black in China, you'll never become Chinese. But why here in America, you're black or you're white and Chinese, everybody calls themselves American. We're not all American. We're Israelites. Chinese people, according to the Bible, they're more about fights. They have a nation of people. Arabs have their own nation in the Bible. White people have their own nation in the Bible. It's clear when you get out like, into the Bible, but for some reason here in America, they cause a lot of confusion. So we don't know who we are. We all call ourselves African American, Black, Negro. You know, every 10 years, we change our name. But our nationality is important. That's what they took from us when we went into slavery. So if they teach us who we were before oh, see, 16, brother, you passed by. Uh, 19, when they put us in slavery, yeah. they'll have to admit that we're the Israelites. What's your name, bro? RJ. RJ, Isaiah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You mind if I give you guys a card or something? Oh, no, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. yeah you too, too, man. Check out your YouTube channel. All right, yeah. Hey, I get you guys on. What is your YouTube channel? Uh, Mountains of Israel. Uh, we got lots of footage on our YouTube channel. Me and my brother, all we do, me and my brother and my best friend, all we do is do all sorts of stuff. All the yeah, so what is it